What is up, everybody? This is Josh with SoutheastPitReport.com, and you're watching another episode of Drive Jams, uh, our weekly video series where we take something new that came out this week, and we let you listen to it, and we tell you our opinion on it. Um, this is a special episode of Drive Jams because I've already released one this week. However, one band released a track today, and it broke the internet. So I thought it would be a special edition Drive Jams where I released two this week. So uh, if you don't know who the band that is that I'm talking about, it's Metallica. Uh, they released a track today called Hardwired. And uh, it's phenomenal. I'm excited about it. I'm a little biased because I'm a huge Metallica fan. Um, if you listen to our podcast, Trenton gives me crap about it all the time. So uh, yeah, we're going to listen to Hardwired. Uh it's coming up off their upcoming album that will be released later this year. Uh, I've already listened to it a couple of times, so uh, I've already know a little bit about it. So, But uh, anyways, here we go. Here's Metallica's new uh, track uh, called Hardwired, and you're watching Drive Jams. To the 80s to kill them all because that's what I felt like uh, I felt like they took everything that was awesome about all their earlier stuff um, and James's new mature voice uh, and what I mean by that is is if you kind of follow uh, Metallica across you know all their albums He's, he's got his key signature things that he's known for, 
uh, like in Chies, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, you can you can tell a difference in Metallica's earlier stuff as far as like his vocals versus like his the later stuff from like the Black album forward. And and I don't know if it's so much as he's matured as a vocalist or if production has just gotten better through the years. Um, I'm going to go on to the fact that he's matured as a vocalist um, just because anybody who's a musician, whether you're a, whether you play an instrument or you're a vocalist, the more you play, the more you sing, the better you're going to get. Holy crap. Did I just go back to the 80s to kill them all? Because that's what I felt like. Uh, I felt like they took everything that was awesome about all their earlier stuff um, and James's new mature voice. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is if you kind of follow uh, Metallica across you know, all their albums, he's, he's got his key signature things that he's known for. Uh, like his yes, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, you can you can tell a difference in Metallica's earlier stuff as far as like his vocals versus like his the later stuff from like the Black album forward. And and I don't know if it's so much as he's matured as a vocalist or if production has just gotten better through the years. Um, I'm going to go on to the fact that he's matured as a vocalist um, just because anybody who's a musician, whether you're a, whether you play an instrument or you're a vocalist, the more you play, the more you sing, the better you're going to get. Um, you're going to learn different techniques. You're going to uh, learn different exercises that you can do to strengthen that instrument. Um, and to make it better. So I'm going to go on along the fact that they've been doing this for 30 plus years and he's learned things along the way that have made him a better vocalist. So I'm going to say he's matured as, in, in his vocals. Um, the reason why I compare that to Kill 'Em All is just that guitar, the whole instrumental version of that just sounds something like it came off that album. Uh, Kirk and, and James on, on guitar there are phenomenal. Lars has always been one of my favorite drummers. I think he's been completely underrated. Uh, I think that a lot of people give him crap and they shouldn't. Uh, I think he is a phenomenal you know, drummer. He, he's always impressed me uh, for everything that Metallica has put out. So uh, the, the drums in this are just phenomenal. It's very signature. Lars has got his signature sound that he does um, that you guys are probably familiar with, uh, where it's kind of like the blast beat there that you'll hear on the snare. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm really digging the drums on that. They've really had me wanting to you know drum on my steering wheel. You probably just saw me do that a little bit. Um, in general, I, I think this is phenomenal. I think this is something that Metallica had to put out. It's been almost 10 years since Death Magnetic. Uh, it's been eight to be exact uh, since this album's dropped. And I think Metallica knew that, yeah, they're popular in, in, in all honesty. They, they never have to put out another album again and they'll still be rich. You know, they're still going to make money off of their albums, they could, you know, release a special edition vinyl of, uh, anything, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's gonna sell, uh, because Metallica fans are Metallica fans, and they're going to purchase anything that the band puts out. They could do, you know, an anniversary box set 
of the Black Album or Injustice for All, and it is going to sell, and um, they can mark it to be whatever they price tag they want it to be, and boom, uh, it's it's going to sell. That's just because that's the way Metallica fans are. Um, they're Metallica fans to me are a lot like Tool fans. Uh, we've been waiting forever for another Tool album and every time there's any type of rumor that a new Tool album is going to be released, the internet blows up with it. Uh, you're going to see that on any major new music news website. And the same thing is with, with Metallica. Now, getting back to, to Hardwired, I really enjoy this. I think it sounds really good. I think this is what Metallica needs uh, to just really keep moving them forward uh, as a band uh, to reach a new generation of music lovers because you know I'm 31 years old and you know there's not too many you know 16 17 year old kids other than like your your huge metal heads that are listening to Metallica and that's sad because you know they're a pioneer of, of music and, and things like that but you know you just don't have fans like that or, or fans like that really and so I think this is something that Metallica needs to really just show uh, new fans, old fans, everything that hey uh, we're still here we're still uh, as you know killer as ever uh, I think that this was something that they needed to follow Death Magnetic with because, you know, any, any Metallica fan is going to tell you that uh, any album past the Black Album has been kind of hit or miss. They're going to tell you that there have been really good hit songs on the album, but as a whole, every album from the Black Album back is, is their go-to album. So, uh... I think that they tried to do that with St. Anger, um, which again is another hit or miss album. You know, it had a couple of good tracks on there, but other than that, um, that's really all it was. It was, you know, it was a radio album, and, you know, it got radio play. And then you had Death Magnetic, which kind of stepped it up a little bit more. And, you know, Death Magnetic was really good in it. This has some death magnetic feel to it, uh, but really, man, this this new track is is phenomenal in my eyes. Uh, it, it again, like I said, is what Metallica needed to put out uh, to to really just captivate the fans to really uh, get our attention, so to speak. And if the rest of this album sounds anything like this I think that uh, fans are gonna absolutely love it there, there's no doubt about it so uh, yeah this is uh, hardwired by Metallica uh, it's off their album that's gonna come out later this year um, called hardwired to self-destruct uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on on pre-order there's so much stuff on the pre-order that I don't even, I can't even list it all. Um, I, I do know it's going to be a two disc set. Um, there's pre orders for vinyl, there's pre orders for instant downloads, there's digital, there's there's all kinds of stuff, man. Um, if you really like this track, then it's already on Spotify. If uh, you haven't seen the video for it, swing by southeastreport.com. It's there and you can see the video. But man, again, uh, I'm excited for this. I, I think it's going to be a great album. I think so far what I've heard already just from this single is phenomenal. So, hey, uh, I'm looking forward to this album. This is definitely going to be one of my most anticipated albums of the year. Uh, the only thing that could make you know 2016 any better would be for Tool to say, oh, by the way, we've had this album done, so we're going to drop it now. And uh, that would be the only thing to make this year any better. But hey, um, again, this is a special edition of Drive Jams because Metallica released the song and it's phenomenal and I loved it. So hey, um, don't get used to this. I may do more things like this in the future, but 
Um, I did. I do know a track that I wanted for next week, and I love this one so much that I wanted to go ahead and just get it out there now. Um, but hey, click that subscribe button, and uh, make sure you check back on our regular schedule on every Wednesday for a new episode of Drive Jams. Where we take a new song by your favorite artist that's been released, and we drive around. I tell you what I think about it, and I let you listen to it, and we're just an honest review for it. So hey, again, this is Josh with SoutheastPitReport.com, and you're watching Drive Jams. We'll catch you guys next time.